Welcome uh, to the 13th International Standards Meeting. Moving forward together through professional standards, that's what we're all about. ISM is for me one of the biggest events during the year. It is always a great support of Europe Active and this is an opportunity to meet other people uh, from national federations, uh, from uh, training providers. We were waiting since long for this event and really, 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 really we are super high uh, excited about it. You are an essential part of the economy. To continue doing so, you need to keep high standards. We need to move from that bodybuilding environment to making a difference to people's health and really making a change. But all of those fall flat if we don't have standards. So I think being an international standard education provider in Asia, it's very important for us to know uh, Europe. So the personal trainer needs to build social and emotional skills to be closer to these patients. Uh, communication, interpersonal skills, which is what the employers, the operators in our industry have been screaming out for years, what the people coming into their clubs are lacking. And what you need is standards so you've got a workforce with transferable skills. If we were meeting for the first time, how would you introduce yourself? Hi Anthony, nice to meet you. But it needs to be firm. You meet new people, you see new ideas, uh, you can uh, have uh, networking. We come for the networking to meet um, other training providers. It was a utopia to think that we are able to fight only for fitness sector. We always had to fight for more sectors together. We come from very different areas and all looking toward the same point. Eight out of ten of my customers don't need a personal trainer. You're using the same set of behavioral change skills in order to help that person. We're all together from so many countries, working at the same time, at the same place, trying to update and to upgrade the fitness level globally. The era of fitness brought something new into the market. Think about three, three competences that you are proud of. Today. Thanks for a great day. Thanks so much for joining us in, in Prague. We are extremely grateful for the community that, um, that always comes to our events, uh, that really shows the brilliance and diversity of our industry. Standards control almost everything we do. Here we have all this work that's been taking place in, if you like, an, an informal way. Now it is formalized into a European standard applying to 60,000 fitness clubs. Standards are important because I think what it does, it allows people to be accountable to different kind of levels of the education provides in the industry. I wanted to start these conversations today and that's what this piece is, a, a conversation starter. Everyone bring his point of view and all the point of views create a big scenario. Fitness instructor should manage work with equipment but it's not only with equipment. We already have level six after the personal trainer step. So I wonder whether the exercise for health specialists could benefit from reducing the broadness of the scope. The standards keep uh, all the stakeholders together. All the providers have, it have good PTs. That's not where the problem lies. So how many are using digital learning today in your workforce? My name is George Siros, I'm a proud ambassador of Ereps. So the thing is, stacking with Ereps make us go on a, the right path and working in the right place with the right people. For me, Ereps is family. For me, for my school. Ereps 20, class of 2023. And that's a start to trying to do to raise the profile of Ereps. European Commission for the first time in history, 2021, beginning of the European Week of Sport, recognized our industry as being essential to physical activity levels in Europe. This is huge. It is our most noble and most important job to unite the entire ecosystem that is diversifying, becoming more broad and, and diverse these years. I'm very excited to know more to have more information and give back to my country with a lot of new things.